Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to show you my new purchase from uh, eBay. This is um, a Geiger counter and it's a CDV 700. They were made in the during the Cold War and as you can see this is it's really cool. It's got um, so it's got some new added features that I put on. I put this um, speaker system on that it connects into the old um, headphone uh, socket and um, it's an unusual socket that you cannot really find the the connector for that. I had to buy this specially made uh, part that came with this speaker um, that somebody had modified to make make it work and uh, as you can see it says CD on here that means civil defense and these were given out to everybody um, during the 1960s and onward and uh, they're still used today in fact and this one's it still has a calibration date on it but it's uh, 1990 so it's kinda old um, you can calibrate this on its own though. The um, it has um, the ability to adjust the calibration on it. As you can see, it's got batteries in here. Old old style uh, circuit board. And um, on one side here, let me just turn it around. Uh, you can adjust the. Um, the calibration there. Hey, quiet. <laughs> My cat, you yeah. know. And uh, oh, and then there it even has the circuit um, schematic. If uh, you ever need um, new parts, uh, you can basically find any of these parts. So it's a very um, cool device that you can uh, maintenance. I guess if there, if there was ever a nuclear war. Um, this would be the unit to have because you can easily fix this unit and um, on the display it's um, it displays um, Miller Rogen's an hour quiet it's my cat yes and also um, counts per minute uh, and it can go up to from zero to fifty Miller Rogan Rogan's an hour, or zero to thirty thousand counts per minute. Um, the other cool thing, thing on this, it has its own uh, test sample here, which is um, a depleted uranium test sample check source. And uh, basically, you can you can test it with this, and it should be within uh, two Miller Rogens an hour. So I'm putting it to the times ten scale here, and you're opening the the beta shield. That's the beta shield. And down here. It should get to about, uh, should get to about two. Yep, it's about there. So it's it's pretty much calibrated. And um, I wanted to show you a, a test sample that I have, and this is this is from a World War II um, aircraft. I'm not sure which aircraft it was from. Uh, it looks like it's for the radio. Uh, and basically this uh, this would be one of the gauges in the aircraft. And um, you see you can actually, it's actually picking it up right now. This has a, a radium paint on it which is um, highly radioactive. So this single, this will be pretty hot when I test this and it actually has a glass case on it so that 
that is um, stopping most of the alpha radiation and I'll just show you with the um, the beta shield closed on here so this is just all gamma radiation you see this is, this is going already let me move this a little bit so it's even you know it's picking it up just gamma radiation right now and that's on the times 10 so it's almost getting uh, one Miller engines an hour just from uh, with the closed beta shield with it open it's even higher and it'd be even higher with this glass case taken off and being right next to the paint See, this thing's pretty hot. I did get this up to uh, four Miller engines an hour. Let's see if I can get it up there again. It's getting up there. I did get it to four. Actually, I got it to four and a half. I might be able to get it to more. And it's gone. Four right there I actually got a little bit higher than that so that's pretty hot of course this is right on the test unit we're not when I'm away from it you see I'm not reading anything hardly so uh, you're not getting a full body dose or anything this is this is pretty harmless you wouldn't want to break the glass and lick it or anything because that would be bad that's um that'd be bad news and the reason it's got uh, this radiation on it is because uh, this would glow in the in the dark um, in order for the pilots to see the the instruments they use this rad radium paint and that way they didn't need a light source to, to see this okay so um, I got my black light here and I'll just show you this is a, a, a well ultraviolet light and I just wanted to show you how this thing glows, I'll kind of bring it in the dark a bit, but you see, you see how it glows right there. And that's the radium paint. Um, now it doesn't, it doesn't glow anymore on its own. You need to use this UV light in order to activate it. And that's basically because the uh, radium uh, has basically destroyed what is um it's reacting to in the paint so it no longer will will glow on its own but you can get this the glow like that it's pretty cool like i said you wouldn't want to lick this paint or anything because it'd be uh it's very toxic but it's fairly safe as long as you have this case on it and but yep, this is my new Geiger counter, and uh, I'm sure I'm gonna find some more things to test around the house. Um, Fiesta wear or Vaseline glass. You can. There's a lot of radioactive items in the house that you wouldn't even think of. Um, are they dangerous? Probably not too bad. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to be eating off them like they used to do in the 50s, and that um, because they didn't know you know, the, the dangers of them, but, uh, this is really cool, I like it, and, uh, it's great to have something that still works, you know, from all these years, you know, and this one's, um, actually made by Rhino, there, right there, and, uh, they also, if you know the, ma the name, uh, they made the the metal toys that they're famous for um, like trains and such so it's a great company and they made a great product these were also made by uh, Victoline uh, Victoline I think it was and some other companies um, but I like this one because it was made by the toy company um, well that's it and this is a great thing right here this shows you the um, the counts with an LED flash. You see that thing moving pretty good. 
got this cool little thing. And you turn it off there, and, and then you turn off the unit right here. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Bye.